In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated did you know slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here a bubble comes with a did you know with a big question mark and then I have put a, a kind of a light bulb there which is blinking and then some interesting facts and the colors keeps on changing depending on the requirement. You can keep it off also and then I've just added some uh, some background shapes also. I have created two slides, one with animation and another without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, scroll down. And from the callouts, I'm going to select this one, the speech bubble oval shape and just draw it depending on your requirement. Maybe I'm going to use this much size and you can see the small orange point. I'm just going to drag it more down and make sure it is center aligned. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to give a purple color and then I'm going to add the text, go to insert text box and I'm going to say, did you know? And the font I'm going to choose white and on the font I'm going to make it the alert. You can see here, bring it down onto this shape and increase the size. Let me just put something like this. All right, and then I'm going to add one big uh, question mark for that go to insert text box and again put the question mark here and the question mark again I'm going to make it white the same font I'm going to choose if you don't have this font you can add any font of your choice so make it as big as this much all right and then I'm just going to put it here and then just bend a little bit something like this okay so you got the question mark here and I'm going to add some shadow effect for that press Control D to duplicate and I'm going to make the uh, the font color as black and then I'm going to make it a transparent go to format you can see text option increase the transparency and bring it here and then bend this a little bit more and then just go to format and send back so you end up getting a shape something like this. Now I'm going to insert one icon or any image if you have go to insert click on icons and I'm just going to scroll down to the process and I'm going to choose this one and click insert. You can see here I can increase the size a little bit make the graphic fill as white or yellow depending on your requirement maybe a gold color I can make it and just bend it and just put it here and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle where we are going to add our the more details here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give the same gold color and I want to give some shadow effect here so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this one size shape outline no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency level then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here maybe this much bring it down just uh, bend it something like this you can see here i can increase the size further let me just bend it a little and then i can just say send this to back so you can see here the uh, the shadow effect and this side again i'm going to bend the the other side and then just send this to back and then let me just align it properly all right and then here you can add some detailed text and the title so i'm just going to add equals lorem within brackets one so you can see here this is my text reduce the font size make it white reduce the size you can see here maybe 14 i can make it and I'm just going to put it here. I make the center align also looks good. Something like this. And you can add some title over here. Okay, some interesting facts or something which you like to add it. 
so the main design is over and if you want you can just add some shapes for that go to insert oval i'm going to select the oval shape okay shape outline make it no outline and then insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here press ctrl d you can just randomly just select press ctrl d and then i'm just going to select all these shapes and then merge shape make it fragment and what i can do is i can just simply select this and delete you can see here i've got a uh, different each you know the i have break into small small pieces so just i want to delete all these things one by one slowly you can delete it you can see here make sure that the inner part should not be deleted all right so just delete something like this one by one all right so i'm going to select all this format shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it white Control g to group it and you can reduce the transparency effect if you want you can just bend it and just send this two back so like this you can add two more here and there you can reduce the size you can put it one here send this to back so and again you can go to insert shapes you can select this one also the curve i can make the curve something like this all right so you can see here and double click shape outline you can give any good color and i can increase the weight width you can see here and reduce the size and randomly you can add here and there kind of a small design effect all right so you can see here you can just add it and again if you want to change the color you can just change the color to some other color also so like this our design is ready it's only uh, need to add the animation now here you can add some uh, basic animation for example i'm going to just select this uh, the speech bubble you can go to the animation enable the animation pane add animation i can add maybe a basic zoom all right so it comes something like this and then this did you know should come again maybe that is also basic zoom all right and that should happen after previous and this one also i'm going to choose the more intense basic zoom the only thing i'm going to make this out come something like this and that should happen with previous and then the shadow effect i'm going to ch choose and then for this i'm going to give a fade effect fade effect and this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this and this also i can just group it together Control g to group it and i can just fly in you can see here that should happen after previous and this both should have the fade effect okay and this should happen after previous all right and this one i'll say with previous okay if i again play we can see here it comes something like this and for this also you can add some small animation effect 